Hello and a warm welcome to you guys and girls. Today I am going to explain you a very interesting thing that uh, if you have lost your mobile phone then no need to worry about that because now Google itself has launched its own tracking device software known as Android Device Manager. So uh, what uh, is the facility here is that uh, it does not require GPS for your phone tracking okay GPS is not required in your phone it will work even okay uh, what facility that software is providing and how I am showing you first of all you can tra trace the exact location of your phone of your lost phone if any sim card is under operation doesn't matter your sim card or anyone is there any one sim card is there it will uh, track it just it should be in network coverage second thing is that you can uh, remotely lock your phone by you can change your password you can create password okay third thing is you can remotely delete your data you can remotely delete your data uh, of your complete phone fourth thing is that you can remotely make a ring without sending any number with high vibration and sound so let's see guys how to do that okay so for that purpose uh, uh, it, the software works for Android phone only okay so uh, first of all uh, you have to uh, look up for the um, that software called Android device manager so for that purpose you have to go to uh, Google Play Store and uh, in Google Play Store you just type this that Android device manager and uh, mm, you would find this app just go and select this application and install it on your uh, mobile phone this is by google itself okay so once you install the application uh, accept the terms and condition and it will download and install once it you install after that just to go to uh, the icon which you would be created in the menu uh, this icon just click over there and accept the terms and condition you have to enter your gmail uh, e gmail email id here and your password of that email and sign in with that once you sign in uh, after that uh, what you need to do is uh, just uh, go to settings and in the settings you have to go there in security tab once you go to security tab you have there a uh, device administrators uh, go to that place and uh, thereafter you would find that software at that place you have to enable checkbox so once you click over here you would find this kind of option uh, just accept everything and activate it click on activate once you do that you will get a check mark here and uh, thereafter what you really need to is that you can uh, when you open your software in the phone you have this kind of option apart from that suppose if you lost this phone this should be activated the software should be activated okay suppose you lost if you lost your phone then what do you need to do how can you can track i'm showing you the main thing first go to google okay since itself is a google software so what you need to do is that type in google that uh, android d r o i d e s d e v i c e device manager okay just when you type you will go to the first url it is of itself google and uh, click over there it will ask your username and password of the google android device manager which you have uh, used in that place okay uh, uh, i have uh, used on that to my phone mm, that is uh, t85k kumar okay uh, enter your password once you enter your password and sign in you would uh, enter into the what the okay just okay uh, once you do that you would be redirected to a page called this page this phone will this it will now trying to contact your phone if that phone is on any sim card is uh, would be there no gps would be on there the still it will it will track your phone location exact location once it track you would have an option here to make a ring yeah let's see the uh, the phone location has been tracked sometime it could not be uh, 
uh, the road name cannot be known if you would be in a very lo uh, small locality then uh, you have got an, an exact area here but uh, the road name may not be mentioned but if you then on the main road or the main market your road will be uh, your location will be uh, listed there uh, you have a uh, facility that if you click here uh, you automatically uh, it will ring your phone uh, where they, wherever that would be you have an option if you click here on the lock uh, lock then what would happen that uh, uh, you can set your password if your phone doesn't have any password you can phone uh, set your password from here if you do this automatically wherever your phone would be it will be automatically locked okay guys uh, if you have a different password you can change your password as well there you can if you click here you would uh, be able to read all the data on that phone without anything so guys it's really very important software and which could uh, be very much helpful for you so guys thanks a lot for watching uh, if you love my tutorials so just like or subscribe to my channel i have lot much to say about technology already i have lot much of, uh, things about web designing web development and uh, mm, uh, hardware and networking in my youtube channel just subscribe to my uh, uh, youtube channel and keep watching i love you guys bye bye By now it is no secret that nothing you do involving the internet on an iPhone or any smartphone is private. But the extent at which you are being monitored and being tracked has been described as shocking and creepy. By the concept of tracking, you may be thinking I am only going to be talking about a GPS system. But that is only the beginning. Although how you are being tracked, which is what I am about to talk about, is uniform for all tracking at this point. So the first more known way is through the GPS and how the GPS works is that it relies on two factors to create a set of accurate coordinates for your location and that is through time and space. So the GPS satellites broadcast precise time signals using a built-in atomic clock along with their location. Every 30 seconds Apple uses Wi-Fi positioning and cell towers in order to record your location from the iPhone with the timestamp. Now I understand needing the location data for features to work, but why does the iPhone need to take a snapshot of your location when it's not even necessary and the information is then transformed into coordinates and then it's stored forever for the government to have, for Apple to have. As I said before, the GPS system on an iPhone is not the only way your phone can track you anymore and know where you are at any moment of the day. So let's look more at the other sneaky ways that Apple puts location tracking in us to basically stalk us. So in order for um, a user to use a majority of the apps that they have downloaded on their phone, um, there has to be an available access to their location from the app to give the user a better experience. Um, it's in the terms and conditions of the app, which is hardly ever read, so not many people may be knowing that it is tracking where they're going at all times, and then that information is being released to apps. Another method of location tracking stems from your settings under privacy in location services, um, but really under frequent locations. And Apple hides this feature very well from its users because by default the location services is turned on. So after you go through the five layers of the settings menu, you can see all of your location history with the dates and times of every place that you've gone um, basically in the last year because that's how long it's been doing this. I'm not really sure why my phone needs to tell me where I've been because I'm pretty sure I know where I've gone. One of the features that also uses um, location servicing ability is your camera roll. So when you're scrolling through some pictures, the top bar will give coordinates of the picture's location to then give you 
the general location. Then that information is stored into your iPhone's footprint. Now, don't get me wrong, the iPhone's amenities of offering location services um, has benefited users, myself included, greatly through driving navigation, weather forecast, um, as well as adding fun features to um, apps that I personally enjoy using. Um, but with all of those benefits, there comes a disadvantage. And so that's the depth of their tracking is alarming, but what's even more alarming is the fact that that information that they're collecting is not 100% secure to only you. Apple has made it possible for almost anybody, a jealous spouse, a private detective, with access to your phone or computer to get detailed information about where you've been. Although the data is kept anonymous and Apple says that everything is kept private because it is one of their top priorities, um, they forget how easy it is to get a hold of someone else's data. All it takes is for your device to be accessed by someone else and they can then see everything. Um, your computer and your iPhone, when they're synced up, when connected, the data is shared between the two. So whoever has access to your computer, or even has access to just looking around your phone, they have the ability to know where you are at all moments of the day. As I said before, all of the tracking can be easily shut down now that you're aware of it. And now that you know all this and can turn off your location settings, you're basically free.